This larvae's adult form almost took my life when I was a kid. Let me explain. Around 20 years ago, it was a hot summer day in Finland, and I was out for a swim, when suddenly a horsefly started flying towards my face. In an attempt to escape, I dove underwater, hoping the horsefly would lose interest if I disappeared from sight. I stayed submerged for as long as I could. When I finally surfaced, the horsefly was still there, circling like a predator waiting for its prey. And in that moment, I understood that the horsefly would stop for nothing to bite my ass. Horseflies are big, fast-flying insects, particularly notorious during the summer months, and love hanging out in merry camping Finland. When mosquitoes bite, they give anesthetics. Horseflies just go fuck you and rip a chunk of your flesh out. They have large, brightly colored compound eyes that remind me of these kinds of sunglasses. Males typically have eyes that are much larger and meet in the middle of their head, whereas females have eyes that are separated. Female horseflies are the ones that bite, yes queen, as they require blood meals to develop their eggs. The proteins and iron in the blood are crucial for producing viable eggs. Horsefly larvae are gender fluid, until they have their final molt and take their adult shape. If they become a male, their life will consist of drinking nectar and using their specialized adapted eyes locating females to mate with. And if they become female, they bite, and I hate them. They use scissor-like mandibles to make a cross-shaped incision in the skin, from which they then lap up the blood that pools in the wound. If you are unlucky, you can also catch an infection, allergic reaction, or even one of these diseases rabbit fever, anthrax, and sura. Loa loa is also a disease that humans can get transmitted to them from horseflies. The infection starts when an infected horsefly bites a human. The bite introduces larvae, microfilariae, into the bloodstream. Once inside the human body, the adult worms move into the tissues around the eye. They can then be seen moving across the surface of the eye, which is nasty as hell.